In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a dynamic breadcrumb component in Angular with a reactive label using the at ngServIO navigation package. If you would like to follow along in this video, go to the GitHub repo in the description and check out the branch example-3-breadcrumb-component. First, install the at ngServIO navigation module. Once the package has been installed, open up the app module TypeScript file, and we're going to add into the imports the at ngServe navigation module. Once that's been done, we're going to add in a few components in order to support our navigation, and then we can bind our breadcrumbs to these navigational routes. First, we're going to create a template component which will house our breadcrumb. Next, we'll create a product list which will have a list of products for us. And then we'll create a product detail page. And then we're going to add in a cart component. And finally, we're going to add in a checkout component. In order to better support the reactive nature of these breadcrumbs when we want to change the labels, we need to add in a couple of services. So first, we're going to add in the cart service and this will be responsible for adding and removing items from a cart. So when we look at our label, we can see a quantity of what's in the cart increase and decrease. Next, we're going to add in a product service that will be responsible for showing us the name of the product within the breadcrumb. Open up the product service file we just created. First, we're going to create a list of products to which we can then reference in the product service. Next, we're going to implement the iBreadcrumb label service, which has a getCrumb method associated with it to which takes it an activated route snapshot. Now this will return an object of label and path where the label is an observable of a string and the path is a string to which we walk the activated route snapshot backwards in order to create a, create a path for the breadcrumb. Next, we're going to add in a products property, which will just reference our products list, and then we'll create a method on here of get product, which will allow us to just provide an ID and return a particular product back based on that ID. Open up the cart service file. We're going to add in a cart items property, which is going to be of type behavior subject, and this will act as our observable for our breadcrumb label. In order for that label to react to certain events, we're going to add the add cart item method here, which increments the cart items. Next, we're going to add in a remove cart item method to which we'll decrement our cart count. And then we're going to implement the iBreadcrumb label service and add the method get crumb. And as you can see here, our label is acting on the cart items and modifying the label here to give a cart and the quantity count within that particular label. So any time that we add or remove to the cart here and it increments or decrements that count, the behavior subject is emitting that value and we're transforming that into the cart quantity count here. With the cart and product service now created, we'll need a method in which we can reference back these services within our breadcrumb factory service. So first we're going to create a const folder and then we're gonna create an index file. And in here, we're going to add in a couple of keys so then we can reference each of these services. And the first one is going to be the cart label service, and that will make reference to the cart service. 
And then we're going to use the product label service, which then will make reference to the product service. Open up the app routing module and the routes variable will configure routes for the components created earlier. At the top level, the template will contain a breadcrumb component and a router outlet. Then each route can contain extra data which will be passed along on the active route. The at ng-serve IO navigation package utilizes this information to determine whether to display static labels using a label property or a dynamic one using the provider key. The provider key maps back to the services we'll configure in the breadcrumb factory service. Let's switch it over to our app module. In the constructor of our app module, we'll inject the breadcrumb factory service. Next, we'll create a label services object of record type string and then type of iBreadcrumb label service. These will map back to the keys that we created earlier and then the services. So for each one of those services, we're going to read through the keys and then we're going to register the label service. With our services configured, we can now create the breadcrumb component. So run the command ng gc components slash breadcrumb. Once that's completed, let's open up our breadcrumb component. We're going to add in into the markup here our ng-serve breadcrumb component. And you'll notice in here that our ng-serve breadcrumb takes in an item template. And this is referenced here via the crumb template. In our instance here, we're just using an unordered list, and then our ng template here is just rendering out a list item for each one of the crumbs that gets passed on from the ng serve breadcrumb. The let crumb is a property to which we are passing into our template, which provides the path and then our observable label. And if you remember when we were working within our product and cart services, this is what the get crumb method is. Uh, allowing us to transform and send down into our template here. We also pass along the index to which we know the index of where this crumb exists in the array that's being passed into here. And then we also pass in the crumb length to know how many crumbs exist in here. And then we have a Boolean value here to let us know whether this is the last value within the crumb. Now that our breadcrumb is set up, we're going to open up the template markup and we're going to add in our app breadcrumb. And then we're going to add in a router outlet. While I'm not going to get into each one of the specific implementations for the components we created for each route, you can find those in the finished uh, GitHub branch to which I'll provide in the description here. Um, but I just wanted to demonstrate that we have our breadcrumbs sitting at the top here. And as we go down into the routes, and if you remember, we have our products route, which then is tied to an ID. So here we have our list of products. And when we click on this, we have our new product, but we can go back to our old products list. And then we can see that it's changing the value here. But if we start adding items to the cart, so I click this a few times, now I'm going to go to my cart, and we can see that the cart has six items in it. But we can remove this, and we can see the value change in the cart. So I'm going to click Remove Item, and I click Add Item here. And if I go to the checkout, it leads me to the checkout. Still, I can keep removing and adding items to the cart here. In this video, you learned how to set up dynamic breadcrumbs and attach to different services for displaying the label and configuring the routes using the at ng-serve IO navigation module. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and be sure to check out GCP Starter Mono Repository 
that helps developers build more quickly into Google Cloud with components shown here.